In this video, I am going to be talking about the Rodscraft. But what's the Rodscraft in the first place? Well, in case you don't know what the Rodscraft is, it's a Minecraft server, a Minecraft survival server, to be more specific, um, created by the YouTuber the Rodway. His channel is in the description if you want to check him out. So I joined the server, and you know, nothing much was happening. They were just building a bit, you know, not much, uh, and I was mining. And Thomas, my friend, called me, or I called him, I don't remember. But something happened, okay? Now, my friend Thomas is who actually introduced me to the Rodway. I don't remember how it started, it was like a, a lot of time ago, but yeah. And after Thomas, another friend of mine called FMSQ also joined our team. Uh, we mined quite a lot, we got some diamonds, we got some iron, you know, the, the usual, and then we started building, and we built this. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I mean, we, we built that. Actually, yeah, we didn't even build it all, we, it was like this, actually. Now, uh, yeah, we kind of had an idea. You know, we're kind of good at the game, aren't we? No, I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm terrible. But we tried to speedrun, and we just went straight to the end. Like, we got to the nether super quickly, we got all the Ides of Ender, we were set, okay? Like, seriously. And we went to the end to kill the Ender Dragon, however... They didn't let us, because it was supposed to be done on stream, and we, they weren't streaming at the time, I think. And it was supposed to be like, a, a big event, like with everyone in the server. So they kind of TP'd us out of the end, and at least we got endstone, I guess, which is funny. So yeah, from there on, me and my team, and really everyone in the server, we just started grinding, like getting all netherite, tridents, full prot 4, all of that stuff, you know how it is. But in the middle of that, something interesting happened. Me and this guy called Boy Johnson kind of started a, a mini war that we called the Mending War. Me and him were trying to get as many mending books as possible, like as many as we could. Because in on stream, here's a clip of it, I have five mending books. <laughs> five mending books? Well, I have like 20 plus. What? Doubt it. Okay, now I have to beat that. No, I doubt he has 20 plus. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to grind. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get 20 mending books. I can do it. No, I doubt he I has do 20 mending books. <laughs> Oh, dude, he has, he has 20 mending books. And look, yeah, I, I did, I had the chest full of mending books. Now, how did I get this? Trading with villagers, literally that, like, what else was I supposed to do? I mean, we didn't take it too seriously, though. We ended up in 1v1ing, which was, I guess, cool, but yeah, I guess here's a clip if you want. Oh, look, he's being... Well, he has gapples. <laughs> Gapples. Well, I didn't say no gapples, did I? I'm gonna die. I'm just chugging gapples on me. Alright. No gaps this time? Maybe? Two, one, go. Make it, he's, he's eating a gap! He just ate a gap! Dude, I was at, I'm, at ha I'm at half a heart. Better than last time. Ah! Okay. GG's. And after that, guess what? More grinding again. Now we found a really funny glitch. It's, it's not even a glitch. It's like a mechanic of the game, but we thought it was a glitch at first. But this is what happened. So the tick speed went up. It was like Farming Friday or something, that's an name I just made up. But every Friday, 
they would put the tick speed up, so farming was easier. Like, you know, crops go instantly and stuff, so it's good. However, me and the boys discovered a funny thing about it. So, we just lit a nether portal, that's all we did. And a crap ton of pigment just just came out of it. But we ended up knowing that it was tick speed, and then we thought, wait, so this could be a farm. Now, I made a little farm at my house, but yeah, it wasn't the best. Now, I knew that this was a very good way to get XP, so I had the best idea ever. Doing a ginormous farm with a lot of portals to get uh, to just get a lot of XP and also a lot of gold. Uh, yeah, because why not, right? So yeah, I made this. Now, I know that this screenshot's not very clear. I actually had a video that I recorded uh, about this bug, kind of. But I don't know where it went, like it just got corrupted or something, so yeah. Now, you saw the farm I made, right? FMSQ also made one that I don't have screenshots of, but it was similar. And we were all like, oh, mine's better, no, mine's better. Oh. Okay, but they were like pretty much the same. And it was pretty good, we were getting stacked out of it, and it worked as like just as we thought it would and I'm pretty sure we were the only ones that were actually like uh, benefiting from this thing that was happening because the other people just just like removed all of the nether portals because they didn't want to get infested by pigmen however we did a farm out of it so yeah I mean they said it would be done so here it is the end fight we went to the end you know, killed the end dragon, not, not much actually, yeah, just a pretty basic end fight, like, I, I, yeah, I mean, nothing much. I, I really don't know what what you were really expecting, like, it's just a normal end fight, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess, I mean, there's nothing much to say about it. Now, we thought the end fight was cool, and, and it was, but, you know, it's just an end fight. However, this moment of the server was kind of the main event, actually. And it was the war between Main Town, which was our group, me and my friends, and the Rodway and his friends, and pretty much everyone on the server. And then there was another group that was trying to take over the whole server. But yeah, we had to fight. The last team standing had the server. That's how it worked, pretty much. So, this is how it went. Me and every single person in the team. We were just grinding, you know. Everyone got maxed out. The people that weren't maxed out got pretty much maxed out. Yeah, I guess. But everyone was really stacked. First of all, they were outnumbered. Uh, we were like more than 10 people and they were like 4 or 5. So that's already bad for them. So it was pretty much a guaranteed win for us. And guess what their armor was? No, it wasn't full netherite prot 4, it also wasn't full diamond prot 4, it was just full clean iron. All of them, besides one that was like enchanted diamond with a dragon head for some reason, they were all full clean iron. Like, what? Okay. Everyone got so confused, like, the whole team was on a call of course, and it was just funny because, you know, they were full iron. <laughs> you know, we were full enchanted netherite. Now, this is where the server kind of gets uh, abandoned. No one's really playing on it much because the hype just really got away, you know. Everyone was already maxed out. So people started just not going to the server anymore. Everyone just really stopped playing. I'm sure Rodway and his friends still play there, but the entire player base just stopped. So this is how the server ended uh but not exactly so yeah we went on the server it was the day okay the day that the server would shut down the biggest event the anarchy event pretty much what would happen is everyone would join and everyone would have creative mode so yeah we could blow up everything as you all know what's craft is shutting down today. And that's how it ended. Anarchy. 
the server ended um uh, you know just us blowing everything up putting lava on everything making cobble monsters and pretty much turning the server into the spawn of 2b2t oh my god it's all gone and yeah it was it was a really cool experience it's just a normal server but it has like a kind of a lore it just it's just different than just a survival server it started to just be one more but it ended as a pretty cool thing in my opinion so yeah um that's the video i think I, there's nothing much for me to say about it anymore i hope you guys liked it and goodbye